In this video, we'll learn to calculate percentage increase and decrease, discounts and tax. Percentage increase and tax work pretty much in the same way because you add in on amounts, you increase in the amount they've got to pay when it comes to tax. So it could be a certain percentage, which is the same as a percentage increase. And percentage decrease and discounts work pretty much in the same way as well. So we'll have a look. So we've got an amount, which is 100%. So let's say we've got £220 is the original cost of a coat. And there will be an increase in price by 17%. So what is that amount? So the way to work it out is really work out 17% of 220 because this 17% is the same as any 17% within, within the whole amount. So 17% of 220, there are different ways you can work it out. The easiest and the most straightforward one would be to get the total increase. So we go 100% and 17, that is 117%. And we can write that as a decimal 1.17. And then just multiply it by the amount 220, the 100% amount, and that will give us the price with the increase included. So 1.17 times 220, that is 257 pounds and 40 pence. But there are different ways you could have worked this out, such as doing 17% first. So 17 divided by 100 or out of 100, times 220, which is the original amount, and that gives us just the 17%. Or if you want to do it all together, same thing. So 117% all together, divided by 100, which is, gives us 1.17 times 220. So these are just some of the ways, and you can use any method that you like. So that's the increase. Now, let's say we've got uh, the price of one item is £123. Now you've got to pay 23% tax on it. So that's going to be on top of that price that you pay in already. So that could be VAT, for example. So we're going to add that 23 on top of 100 so that is 123 percent and as a dec decimal that is 1.23 multiplied by the original amount or the 100 percent amount which is 123 pounds so that is 1.23 times 123 so that gives one hundred and fifty one pounds and twenty nine pence. So that is the new price or the price with the tax included. What we could have done as well is, OK, let's get twenty three percent of one hundred and twenty three and then add it on top. So twenty three percent. 23 out of 100 times 123 and then at that amount can be added on top of 123 which was the 100 percent either way it will give you the same answer so as you can see increase and in tax you talking about something being added on top of the 100 percent on top of the original amount now let's look at decrease and discounts so we've had a, an item costing £400. Now there's been a decrease in price. This pr 
price this was the hundred percent now it's been reduced by 19 percent how do we know that because 81 and 19 makes 100 so what i can do is i can work out 19 percent of 400 and take it away or i can just work out what is 81 percent of the 400 so 81 percent as a decimal 0 0.81 multiplied by 400 and that should give me this amount so 0 0.81 times 400 is equal to 324 pounds so that is the reduced price and same thing with discounts so discount means a reduction in price and again if we had an original price being 215 pounds so all of this being 215 there's been a reduction or a discount by 55 percent so I can work out 55% of this and take it away from 215 or I can just work out 45% and that's it. It's worked out. So I'll choose the easy version. So 0 0.45, which is 45% written as a decimal, multiplied by 215, which is the 100% amount. And that gives me... ninety six pounds and seventy five pence so this method that i use is called the multiply method is a straightforward one if you use or if you can use a calculator and to recap we said increase and tax were pretty much in the same way and degrees and discounts again work pretty much in the same ways when it's increased you add in an amount on top you sometimes given the amount sometimes you're given the percentage so you've got to work out the amount and when it comes to the decrease the price or the amount will go down and we're given one of the percentages we're given either this discounted percentage or we're given that final amount or percentage and we've got to work with that to get the answer.